<laughs> what is happening lovely people thank you so much for clicking on my video my name is Liza live and welcome to my channel so I got this hair done and I did this little makeup look for you guys it's really hot today and it's been really hot recently but anyways I'm going to my friends little um, I'm going to my friends little birthday um, get together and I thought I wanted to look cute for you guys so then if you want to know how I achieved this hair look and this cute little makeup look then keep on watching make sure you like comment and subscribe if you enjoy the video and if you want to see more of Liza Live <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just gonna try and do something to save the life of me check out these edges guys like what like what like what is anyways <laughs> inches baby <laughs> All right. so I'm gonna try and do a very nice lovely low ponytail my hair has been through it, okay? My edges have been through it. If you're looking at me, please don't judge. Men judge me, okay? Because you're not gonna it. Anyway, so what I'm gonna do, I'm just going to brush it, brush this hair backwards. Okay. And what I'm going to use, I'm going to use this Moray's Beeswax, the yellow one. You gotta trust the process because I don't know myself. I don't know what's going on. But I know I need to look good. what's going on and I'm not just a bit mm. anyway but I do need to get ready I'm running out of time but I'm using this gummy hair gel to do my edges so um this is what it's looking like now I'm just gonna quickly tie it down I'm only praying and hoping to God that it's gonna come out okay. And if not, we're wearing the scarf out, how about that? <laughs> I wanna get straight into my makeup, I'm running late. But I wanna film my full foundation, full face makeup with you guys, just to share, to share with you exactly what I'm doing and how I do my makeup. I hope you enjoy it, but stay tuned, let's go. At the moment, I'm going in with Angel Veil as my primer. When I know something that works for me, I kinda of love to stick to it rather than like exploring new things and I hate buying new products that I don't end up using so yeah I've put my primer on and I'm going in with powder into like my areas that get very very oily literally my whole entire face it's so oily so I'm literally just basically powdering the whole face and I'm using oh, I didn't show I'm using my revolution banana powder um, which I got from super drug but yeah so now that I've done all that, I set with my prime and prem. Hey, prime and prem, I <laughs> I set with my prep and prime for MAC. Literally just set that all over my face. I'm just drawing my eyebrows now. Very, very light handed as well. I don't know if you can tell. And literally, I just draw towards the end. I mean, towards the start of the brows, I draw it upwards. When I'm done, y'all gonna know what true beauty is. I mean, this is beauty, but you know, enhance beauty. And then I'm gonna do the same on this side. So again, you can literally lift your brows to make it easy for you to outline. You check to make sure that it's looking identical. I know eyebrows are only sisters. They're not identical twins. They're cousins, in fact, for some people. You still need to make sure it's making sense and you're not you're not looking wonky, your eyebrows aren't looking wonky while you're out there. And this is what it's looking like now. I'm gonna quickly do both, you know, and I'll be back. Guys, if you know me, then you know how much I hate halo brows. 
but this is full coverage so I can't skip this part but watch how I didn't bring it all the way down here I literally started halfway just to blend it a bit more okay and this is what it's looking like and now I'm gonna do my foundation so I'm using my Lancome Taint Idol Ultra Wear and it's quite dark so I add a little bit of my bobby brow I try to put it around here where I'm gonna highlight anyways and I try to dab 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 can you guys please comment in your in the comment section what you guys suggest for me to buy next because I've run out of my Lancome um, foundation because my face is oily I go over with a compact powder I'm using this MAC mineralized finish um, skin finish and I'm literally focusing a second layer all over my face pretty much this is how I apply um, my highlights so a little bit of beautiful bronze like right here a little bit here as well I'm so pretty I'm so pretty and I'm going in with the beautiful bronze on my nose no this is not beautiful bronze this is chestnut and then next to the wow I feel like it's not that much difference you know that's meant to be beautiful bronze and that's meant to be chestnut but what is the difference guys can you tell just very very slight same on this side when I hit a joint could mess around can you see can you see mm -hmm. I'm gonna go in with my elf guys I know we already got quite a lot going on already but just a tiny bit here, oh, just a tiny bit here and there. I'm using my Fenty, um, Be Fenty Beauty Match Stick in the shade Espresso to just bring back the darkness in my face again. I never understood this like why go through all that struggle just to like bring it back but it's like it's art okay this is my art <laughs> uh, I'm so obsessed with Naruto at the moment like I've literally just been binge watching it and art is an explosion my art is not an explosion but you know it's bringing the darkness back in my face <laughs> right and looking all nice and shiny And then a little bit around the chinny chin chin. I think the nose is the only only one that I'm allowed or I I do go ahead to like brush up and down. I'm gonna go ahead and use my bronzer. This is the Fenty Beauty Thick Mint Sunstalker bronzer. And when I bought the match like the espresso ma match stick. I actually should have bought the darker one. I'm not sure what that shade is, but that's the next thing I'm buying because I realized that Espresso is quite close to my skin color. So when I use it to contour, it's not as, okay, I wanted to say harsh, but I was gonna say, I don't, it's not as harsh as I want it to be, but to be fair, we don't want it to be harsh, but I do feel like it's lacking in bringing the darkness back into my face. I'm just gonna put some more dark on the side of the nose. Again on the side and then I'm gonna take it in into the eyebrows just to give it that dramatic look and then the next thing that I'm gonna do I'm gonna use my revolution my brain I can't I can't wow oh. and then you know don't spread that one too much because you don't want your forehead to be the center of attention. It already is, so you don't want to do too much if you've got a big forehead like mine anyways. 
a little bit of contour try not to bring it down too much because then it's harder to blend and you don't want the lines to be too harsh and this time while I'm bronzing I'm literally wiping away some powder like I'm using my James James Charles Morphe palette I'm going to use that for my blush so I'm going to go in with the orange and the two colors here the orange and the red I'm going to mix it so I dab both sides and then into the cheek and then I'm using my old brush, well not old, old brush, but the brush that I used for the highlight. I'm going in and wiping away the excess while blending at the same time. This is gonna look wild guys, please forgive me. Okay, not that bad, not that bad. Okay guys, so I'm gonna quickly do a classic brown lid with these two colors um, just to give me a little bit of like a darkness in my face again so yeah like that this mascara is a simple mascara that I got from Primark it was a while ago I literally need to do like a proper makeup shopping so I'm gonna do that and I'll probably film show you guys when I'm doing it for eyelashes, because my face and my look is quite simple today, I want to have very exaggerated eyelashes and to be honest, I always want exaggerated eyelashes anyways. Um, so I'm using this pack that I got from, um, I got it from AliExpress a while ago. I'll pop you guys the link if you're interested. Putting it behind my natural lashes. I'll leave it to get a little bit more tacky before I like move it around again. For my lips, I'm literally using this um, simple pencil and I like to outline over my natural line. This pencil is from the beauty supply store, like you can get it anywhere, um, any beauty store. This is my friend's um, product, NN Beauty, and I'm wearing this nude colour. I absolutely love the way it looks on me. Can you see? For my final touches, I'm going to go in again with my MAC um, Mineralize Finishing Powder. And I'm going to go over the highlighted areas again. So right here. Okay, and right there, okay, on top of my nose, okay, in my green eyebrows, and right here, and then on my smile lines, don't forget that. Wow, I forgot this is a full makeup, which means we can't forget the glistening, glistening, glistening. So that is it guys, this is my final look. What do you guys think? Right, let me just quickly try and finish this hair. I wanted to quickly tell you guys about this spritz thing that I saw, I've been seeing people use on TikTok. I do want to do a review on it when I wear my wigs, but I do I thought I might as well try it on my natural hair as well. It's got like a super hold and it's like a polisher. And at the moment, the hair was like white at the start. It's kind of like gone down. But at the same time, I just want to use it on my hair and tie it one more time before I do the ponytail. Just to see, you know, how it goes. Oh, it smells so nice. I mean, it's aloe vera scented. Oh, I love the smell. I'm using this hair as my ponytail. It's pre-stretched hair. Literally, this is the hair. And then, like that. Okay. Mm, that looks nice.
guys so just quickly I'm running late so I'm just gonna do a quick um, summary of this I was gonna say vlog but um, get ready with me I ended up using a little bit of extra hair to go over I'm wearing this like lovely dress from PLT I got ages ago paired it up with this bag from Mom Sheen and I'm wearing these flats from PLT and this is the full fit Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye. <laughs>